All right, Jack, take it away. Tell us about Black Mamba. So Black Mamba is an is based on an idea I had, I think like 2018. Um, it's a jungle mission in heavy fog. You're trying to rescue somebody. And it's like, I, and the, that's the idea there originally. And it kind of built upon there. Um, but I already had ideas for maps and the map that is used. It was one of the ones I was thinking of. And just, it was really just evolving from there. Once I finally decided to dig into the mission editor, it's kind of one of those ideas that I want to explore very early on. Had it for a while, and it was it was very ambitious. Okay, and okay. the Black Mamba, like, what what were you what were you trying to pull from me to try to get whatever this authentic experience that you were looking for, the idea you had? I guess you were going for authenticity, or like, what was the end state goal there? When I was definitely like consulting with you, it was definitely about getting authenticity in there and making like how would things actually play out in real life. How can I write? Because especially since I want to do a five-paragraph operation order for, her, since that would be probably how it's done. I would imagine it's done for real. It's one of those. Okay, I want to. I have to be able to explain why are we inserting where we are, how are we extracting the way we are, and so that even though it may not necessarily be represented in gameplay, I still need that extra layer involved. Because we're definitely talking to you. I wanted to sort out some of those issues. How is the enemy actually going to respond? Does this just feel right? Like because I means that you have actual experience. If you're playing, it's like this doesn't feel authentic. Then it obviously means something's wrong. And so it's kind of, and then just building it upon there and just going through the gameplay. Um, good thing things sort themselves out. And you kind of know what uh, what has been said as far as you and I playing through. Like what's what's you believe you've achieved that based upon what other people have said about it? Because I know I know what they've kind of said. is really good and it's really difficult. So what else did that mean? Really, you've accomplished that. I definitely feel like I accomplished more than I originally set out to. Um, there are probably little quirks in there, yes, but overall, it's highly replayable in a very purposeful way. Because I guess I'll caveat a little. One of the things of Heroes released that mod, it has all those randomized game modes and stuff. Which, I mean, they're great, and especially one of the issues I have with them is it doesn't feel like a purpose-built mission, and so it kind of eliminates some of that immersion. So of this, I mean, I definitely there's enough randomization in there that it's hard to it's harder to beeline to certain areas. Like you can definitely play it more and learn like what optimal strategies are, but there's still enough. The informant's not always going to be alive. You may you may have gotten the informant too slow. You don't know who's armed and who's not armed when it comes to the civilians that are involved. And so it's one of those. It's it very much kicks your teeth in in multiple ways and really I find demands a high level of skill to complete. Well, boom. What can we look forward to uh, retrospect to this campaign? Overall, like authenticity is one of the main things I'm going for, but I want to explore different things. This So Black Mamba explores like intense CQB, what happens when you've got heavy fog in the area, like demanding speed, target discrimination, among other factors, and also having it play out realistically. Sometimes that and you're not always going to have a happy ending of this mission. Like, the informer could already be dead. I'm, I'm not going to throw you the bone and be like, oh, because of gameplay, I'm going to have you always win. Because, I mean, you may have gotten there. You might have been killed five hours before you got there. And so I don't. I kind of want to also get some of that, a little bit of shock value in a way. Like, sort of what Modern Warfare, I think, did, but without pulling my punches. And so you may have to shoot, like, you've seen it. You may have to shoot women and children. It's unfortunate, but could be the reality. And so it's one of those, it's this one's not supposed to make you comfortable. Other missions are going to explore other aspects. So that warehouse mission that I've shown you is very much about a large team-based assault, something far simpler. Um, other ideas I want to explore include working with local forces or just, just different scenarios that are going to demand different things. All right, well, you know how to get a hold of me. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be clashing on this motherfucker for quite some time. Whatever you got, just hit me up. Absolutely. I'm hoping to have a very varied campaign that will demand different skills. Yeah, let's go ahead and split it. Y'all are big boys. You've worked with me before. Alright, whack, you'll take one, push it out. 
Roger, which entrance are we taking? Uh, take a knee, wait one. I'm gonna cross towards east on the LDA and I'll probably hit the southern section due to the amount of cover and concealment there. Uh, you know what? Scratch that. If we're punching north up the LDA and the resistance seems a little heavy, we'll take the gate. If resistance is light, we'll take the doorway further north. Uh, reference maps for Echo 9. Dragon. Roger. All right, that's the, that's the uh, avenue of approach here for us. All right, ready to move. Go ahead. Goal? Yep. All right, cool. Fuck it, I'll take three. There's the gate to our right. Yeah, I see nothing right now. Cool. Why don't we stay on this side of the LDA, uh, and then we'll decide to cross over as needed. Just because I like the fucking high brush. Agreed. Stuck on something there, Dole? I'm good. Reading what you're putting down there is so calm, I'm just not acknowledging it yet. Path front and moving to our left. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and cross that, no big deal. I see your fucking doorway on the right, too. I'm ready to cross. Let's start this LDA. Fuck it. Bump. I guess we bounded it. Fuck it. Poof. I'm gonna swing. Oh, I might swing inside. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna blade off a little bit. My hand Behind side. door clear. Push up here, hit this defilade. Alright, douchebag in window, far left. Yep. Nothing on right hand side. Hmm. Whack, you got the better eyeball, yes, and you're loud. Hey, firm. All right, I want you to post up here, watch window, kind of pull that uh, kind of inner cordon, and then Dole and I are going to sweep and clear through the fucking garage. Be advised, patrol right side, patrol right side, moving right to left. What's the distance? Probably a bit within 50 meters. I've got eye on the rear, man. Oh, yeah. They're turned around. Uh -huh. I got a grenade launcher. Ooh. Lost eyes on front, man. All right, there ain't shit, but you're going to have to be aware of that if you have to fucking go hot. But uh, other than that, set up your overwatch position, provide the inboard, and we're going to hit that fucking garage now. Dole. All right. Set up. Let's go, baby. Garage window, nothing. Kind of want to cut through this backside, actually. All right. Hop on it. All right. Watch this fucking window. 
I actually want to avoid any kind of window interaction till we get to the top floor. If we get compromised, we're gonna have to fucking shoot up them stairwells quick, so... Fuck it. Let's see what we got here... Upon Wait. initial contact, I'll move my way to the helipad. Wait, watch this. outside. Yeah, I see a kid in that window, no big deal. Unarmed, we're good. Went upstairs now. Nice and slow. Dude in the window. Smoked him. Alright, we're moving now. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. I just come behind you. I want to watch for that patrol on the right. They're probably about to come in. We got a bitch in the far left side. You ready to breach this shit? On you. Patrol's moving into the front door. You ready? Yep. Alright, Dole. I'm about to breach this bitch. You're gonna have to fucking flow oh, in. Oh, fuck! Alright. God damn, Dole, I thought you were faster what than that. Hitting me. No, yeah, I put three into him, but he didn't go down. I'm right. coming inside. I had a rocket fired at me. Alright, no problem. Alright, I'm reloading. Hold that hallway. Probably coming in. On you, tap. What? Okay, body armor. Shit. Prisoner secured. Prisoner secured. Alright. Mag change. In hallway. Alright, hold hallway. Pop in this door. Whoa! Clear that room. It's clear. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna breach this fucking shit. I gotta still find yeah, that I'm informant. Just... Yep. Ah, oh, fuck that. I... Fuck out of my way. Ready for this? Yep. yep. What is going on? What shot me? He's in the corner. Charlie coming in. That guy had to have shot me through the wall. Little tweaks, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's find this fucking informant. Gonna check the balcony and try not to get shot. Nothing on that side. Oh fuck, here's a patrol out there. Take care of that. They look down, getting inside. Back. Oh, right, we gotta flow down and fucking clear it out now too. No choice, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing. Well, there's the downstairs back that way. As long as we're mobile, we can't be fucking isolated. Kid downstairs, patrol outside. Alright. Oh my god, oh. Moving right! Right room appears clear. Alright, cool that. Away. You're good, keep going. Get that bitch out the fucking way. This room's clear, Mac. Alright. Tap! Magging. Alright. Good, we're good. Gotta get to the lab. Alright, yep, gotta find that informant. Yeah, I hit the kid's hand, not much I could do about that or where the fuck that bitch was. Still mobile? Still mobile. Alright, keep going. Thank you, body armor. About to get real fucking nasty real quick. Two I'm down fine. right. I think he was unarmed, but fuck oh, it. Oh, fuck it. He fucking didn't look that way. He's taking a fucking knee, assuming a firing position, so I don't get two shits right now.
Guy behind the box, I don't know if he's armed or not. Moving in. Piers unarmed. Got, Got him. Clear right. Clear left. Mag. Keep pushing, baby. Keep pushing. Alright. Popping this door. Nope. He's dead. Foreman was killed before we got here. Nice, get the fuck out of here. Take the fucking vents. <laughs> Grabbing, lifting, go. Mag. Uh, we can kind of take a breather in these caves, it seems like, so get their bearings here. Yeah, we got a long way to go. We're to fucking make a mad dash darting towards the goddamn fucking thing. At least it looks like it's leading away from the town. Yeah. Right. You ready for this? You're, are you? You're the oh, one yeah. that's wounded. Let's, I'm fucking fine. Let's go. Fucking shove a goddamn fucking... Put a straw and suck it the fuck up. Plus, I'm in the Contact! water. Once you know Marines heal in the water, it's like fucking like uh, Mountain Dew and Hot Pockets to nerds. On you. I'm going to do a mag change before we erupt over here. Unless it's a rice patty. Uh -huh. Alright boy, here we go. We're going to double time it the whole way. Zig when I said it zagged. Oh, come on! Fuck you, QRF! Get those boats ready. I'm holding this damn door. I love Baja Blast.
Unarmed civilians killed. Three. Eh, okay. Not bad. I think we can both all agree the answer to that question yep. was yes. Now, see, now we have to fucking, we, we could have put an incendiary grenade on fucking Dole Silver's body. <laughs> and there's nothing at Bourne on.